What's up, Fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Frank Warren. Derek Chisora, get this. Frank Warren responds to Derek Chisora being in the mix to fight Anthony Joshua. And he had this to say. He said, they'll go for the easiest one they can because they don't want to jeopardize the payday they're going to get in Saudi Arabia. This is what this has all been about and why the heavyweight division has been held up for nearly a year now. I don't think him and Derek Chisora is going to set the world on fire. I got enough criticism for, Ch for Chisora fighting Tyson when he was ranked and he was soundly beaten by Tyson. There's a few other guys there, but he'll go for the easiest option if he goes ahead and fights. Warren also said this. He said he would like to see him tested. He said Joshua had a warm-up fight with Jermaine Franklin after his losses against Alexander Usyk, and now he should be stepping up a bit. So you would expect him to be in the ring with somebody with at least a pulse. Those are the words of Frank Warren. Let me counterpunch proudly and loudly. Bars. Frank Warren, you are absolutely a hypocrite. That was a very hypocritical comment that you made about Joshua taking the easy way out. The balls you have. Your balls must be made out of diamonds. Okay? Because you are insinuating that Joshua is fighting Derek Chisora and the idea of him fighting Derek Chisora is the reason why the heavyweight division is held up <laughs> for the last year is because of Anthony Joshua. First of all, how the fuck is Anthony Joshua holding up the heavyweight division when he doesn't even have a belt? How is he holding it up? Two, who has the belt? Your fighter. What did your fighter do? Held up the division by fighting the same guy that you have a I problem with money. Anthony Joshua fighting. How dare you, Frank? Brick top? Fish eyes? How dare you come and say that it's Anthony Joshua and he is the reason why heavyweight the heavyweight division is held up? Really? <laughs> You're mad because the same guy that you guys, your fighter, chose to fight on a trilogy for the third effing time. Got slack for that and you got, and you got fried for that. So you want Anthony Joshua to be fried for that because Dillian White had an adverse finding and we still don't know what the Hades is in his adverse finding. What is the finding? We don't still know which I think is very strange, too damn strange if you ask me. But you're, you're talking about, oh, uh, Joshua has to fight someone with a pulse. Wow. What about your fighter? Tyson Fury has fought the same type fighters for a very long time, and he knew what he was doing. See, this is my take <clears throat> on Tyson Fury with the crunk style. Based on a theory, only a theory. The theory that Tyson Fury no longer has the legs, okay, that he once had. Maybe too much weight on him. Maybe injuries that we don't know about. Maybe he just can't move the way he used to, you know. Uh, based on the abuse he had to his body, the weight gain, the weight loss, the uh, alcohol, the substance abuse, whatever it is, he doesn't have it. Let's say that theory is true. The crunk style would complete him and make him a lot better or a lot appealing because he can't use his legs. I know fighters that no longer use their legs because they can't use them the way they used to. Look at Edis Landy Lada in 2014 and look at his ass in 2021 when he fought Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Or was that in 2022? Whichever, whenever, right? He is not the same fighter because he does not have the same mobility. And that may be the reason why Tyson Fury is with the crunk style. 
Does that make him hit any harder? No, it just forces him to set down on his punches harder. Okay? So, what type of fighter would Tyson Fury look good against? A fighter that doesn't have good footwork anyway. A plotting fighter. A fighter that doesn't have the balance or the mobility or the movement capability, which is mobility, to move like Tyson. So Tyson then would appear a lot faster than them because he can bounce up and down like most fighters can do. Hell, even Luis King Kong old viejo Ortiz can do that at times, but he can't do that the whole time, can he? He can show you that I, 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 I puedo. Right? He'll do that for about seven seconds and he'll stop. <laughs> We've seen him in the, the Andy Ruiz fight do that same thing, right? Bars. So maybe these fighters that Frank, your fighter, is fighting are just set up because they don't have footwork. And the reason why you couldn't get your fighter to unclog or, or, or move the heavyweight division forward because you were afraid of that fact. But then yet you take another fighter like Anthony Joshua, a guy with no belt, a guy that sure has a name, a guy that sure is a British fighter, a guy that sure has a fan base, but you're mad because you can't fight him when you actually supposed to, your fighter is supposed to excel far past that, not because he beat Joshua, is the fact that he didn't fight guys like Joshua. And you're mad because of that. And then you're mad because they are fighting the guy that you and your team or your fighter has fought. Newsflash, Frank. Whenever you hear about a fighter that your fighter has fought, you should never criticize that fighter for any reason. Why? Because the same time and the same thing they said about your fighter fighting that fighter, they should say about that guy. But you shouldn't say it because that makes you look like a hypocrite saying what you're saying. And it only just bleeds out and, and, and amplifies the whole idea of you not taking the fights that your fighter's supposed to fall by saying another fighter don't do it. Wait a minute. If you're blaming another fighter, we just seen your fighter do a shit show. Now he's fighting once this year, fighting a guy that's not even a boxer. Then you have the balls to talk about, oh, uh, Anthony Joshua's doing the wrong thing by fighting a guy Tyson Fury last fought. Who in the hell wanted to see Derek Chisora fight Tyson Fury for a third time? Nobody. But we're talking about a different situation, Frank. Let me break it down to you. First of all, Tyson Fury voluntarily fought Derek Chisora. He chose Derek Chisora. He made a fight with no deadline or no Monday is the deadline shit with Derek Chisora. Anthony Joshua is fighting a replacement. Why? Because some other shit took place. Not because he said, you know, I'm looking for the, the, the easiest fighter and I want Derek Chisora. He didn't do that, Frank. Your fighter did. So before you say anything about another fighter, remember that your fighter did the same bullshit, but in a, on a different circumstance. That's what I'm talking about, Frank. So before you talk about any other fighter, tell your fighter to look in the mirror. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this rant coming and raining down upon Frank Warren. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.